Hello everyone and welcome back. Okay, I just got out of work and I reached into the huge bucket of box I have from West Coast Picks. I just received a couple of really awesome packages from him and um, yeah, I mean, Harley, I really can't thank you enough my friend for, for all the awesome locks, I mean, the, the key blanks, the fish tape, just everything in general. I mean, you've been more than generous to me and everybody in our community and I just really can't thank you enough for that. Anyways, guys, I reached into his locks and I pulled this one out here, and this one here is Death Metal, pinned by Pick Me 1977. Another awesome guy right here, um, Pick Me 1977. I know if you're watching my videos, I know you got to be watching his videos and um, West Coast Picks videos. I mean, the, both these guys are just outstanding pickers. They make great challenge locks, and they just put out some awesome videos. So. Yeah, if you're not watching their videos, you really should. Um, but anyways, I have this um, one here pinned by Pick Me 1977. Calls it Death Metal and has an awesome key. Um, it is a quick set, but I picked it because of the key. And uh, well, besides that, Pick Me's locks are really fun to pick and uh, sometimes really tough to get into too. So I'm hoping I'll even be able to get into this lock. But anyways, um, we're gonna give it a shot, and we'll um, if we get into it, we'll take a peek inside. All right, I'm gonna go with top the keyway. I have a little bit of slop there, a little bit of um, flopping around, not too bad. And um, I just finished putting some polyurethane on my picks. I think I'll try this one here. It's kind of a short hook. <coughs> Excuse me. I might have to go do a deeper one, but we'll start with this one here. I believe that was pin two. Got a nice little click out of it. Pin four. Not sure if there's five or six pins in here. Very tiny click off of four. I'm feeling a little counter rotation here too. Ooh, that might, oh, might possibly be an overset, but I did get a little more turn on the core. A tiny more too, I think, off of five. Right, let's see what else we got. Got some counter here on two. Okay, I lost that false set. Okay, I got. I think I got it back on four. That's a little bit off of three. A couple of clicks, a little counter rotation. So let's keep going with it. All right, well, we got it back on four or possibly five. Oh, we got a nice deep fall set now off of three, and we're open on three. Awesome. Not too bad. Fun lock to pick, though. Pick these locks are always fun to pick. All right, let's see what he has inside of it. I'll grab my pin tray here. All right, now that key is really mummied up here. I don't think I'm gonna open this one. Um, that might take me a little while to get into that. So we'll see if we get this off without locking it back up. All right, that's not fitting. Try this side. Unfortunately, either side of this does not fit. Right, guess we're going the old-fashioned way. Okay. Move that key. We get that spring out of there. All right. Key pins are there. And throw a shim in there. I have been to my other shim that I had out. 
I just had a new shim out. I don't know what I did with it. Hmm. This one will work fine now. Alright, let's see what we have. Okay, five pins. That's what I thought I was feeling. And you can see he's done some work here to the core for sure. He's got some counter milling, some shaving off of here on number three, and some threading everywhere. All right, let me dump these pins. Okay, one is a T pin. I'll grab my tweezers in case I need them. Two is serrated. Three is a uh, little single serration four is a spool or a very wide serration and five is another spool okay so we're definitely seeing some threading in one two three and five and some really deep counter milling there in uh, four Awesome. Just shot that little spring. Okay. Let's see what we have up here. We have a very small serrated T pin and a steel and brass spring. Got it doubled up there. Number two is a serrated spool. It's a spool type but with serrations everywhere. Loosely wound steel spring. Wow, okay, heavily serrated. Um, maybe a spool or so in there, but lots of serrations. That's an awesome pin. And a steel spring. That one's tightly wound. Number four, we have a spool with an extremely sharp edge on the tip of that. A little brass spring. And last but not least, number five. Is a barrel type of pin but with serrations top and bottom and I believe a steel spring in there too I'll just dump that yeah very loosely wound steel spring all right let's see what he's done up here if anything oh yeah we have some threading in two three and five two three and five with some threading all right let's have a look at the pins come on I get this camera to cooperate okay so number one we have this T pin number one then we have a uh, double serrated here in two single serration here in three um, spool here in four, another little spool here in five. And up top here we have a serrated type of T-pin, or a T-pin maybe with a couple little levels on it. I don't think that's quite a serration. I think that's um, a couple levels. And then we have this awesome pin here. It's a very, extremely sharp edge on the top of that. You can see that, and some nice serrations just everywhere. Kind of spooled in the middle. Awesome pin. Another awesome pin right here. Looks like we have like a triple spool. One, two, three, and some nice serrations on the top of that. And then we have another one here. Spool with extremely sharp edge on the top of that. 
And then we have a barrel type of pin here with the observations, top and bottom. And then we have a double spring here, brass and steel, a loosely wound steel, a tightly wound steel, a little brass spring, and a loosely wound steel spring. Awesome luck. Always fun to pick. West Coast Picks, thank you very much for sending me this lock. Pick me. Thank you for pinning this lock for us. And, uh, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, comment below. And, yeah, everyone, please be safe and stay legal. Thanks, guys. Bye. Okay, guys. Well, I wasn't going to do this. Um, we all know Pick Me can make some awesome locks. I've been trying to do this with some of the new lock makers. Um, trying to give them some tips, but this is this is just awesome. This is how a lock really should sit when it's in a lock position um, and making the pins count. And um, that's exactly what Pick Me did. Um, again, not much room in this uh, chamber here, so we made just enough on that pin to make it count. A little T-pin there. This one here, same thing, he's got a bit more room. Make that spool count and everything. Um, got some threading in there, and he's got threading in the Bible to catch the, um, the threads on the top of that pin. Another deep one here, no, deep enough to catch um, these three spools. And then he's got threading in the Bible again for the threads that are up here. Um, this one, no threading in the Bible, don't need it. And um, yeah, this is a shallow one. So he made this very extremely sharp edge on there to catch this counter milling. And it does, it catches it extremely well. Um, and uh, pin five. Again, um, enough room in the lock, in the chamber, to um, count for these threads and everything. And then again, threading up in the um, Bible to catch the threads on the top of this um, driver. But yeah, this is an awesome lock, guys, and this is really um, how they should sit when you're making them. That's why I put my um, my um, core inside the holder now. I'm losing focus here. Just so I can see um, how much room I have in the chamber after the key pins are in there to make my um, pins accordingly and make them count. And that's exactly what Pick Me did. He made every single one of these pins count. Awesome, awesome lock. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I'm not going to do that with every lock, um, you know, especially the the lock makers that have been around for a while. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. So, all right, guys. Thank you for watching, and um, yeah, bye now.